Hello again. Um, I'll introduce you to this uh, latest build of mine. It's another glass fibre loop back. Brilliant bodies. Um, but the main thing, it's an alto octave down D. Um, the main reason I want to talk about it is because I'm using printed tangents for the first time and they are brilliant. Um, <laughs> spot on obviously because they're printed um, for many many years like most people I've been using wooden tangents I don't like these metal ones uh, there's all sorts of disadvantage to them um, but so that's that's the wooden one compared to the printed one and the printed one's already clad with heat shrink um, it's actually pet G as the uh, material it's made from which is a higher melting point and allows you to put the heat shrink on uh, it just in, in simmering water um, without distorting the print which is grand it's an absolutely perfect fit on an M2.5 bolt uh, machine screw rather that's, that's going in there there's absolutely no play on it um, advantages yeah plenty um, essentially these these are without the wrap on them, without the heat shrink, and they are a tiny bit smaller than the wooden ones, which they can be because of the extra strength, the extra wall strength of the printed uh, tangent means that you can have a really minimal space on the outside of the screw and still have the strength, which uh, I think would be a bit risky with wood. So there you go, you can have your sleeving put on it and uh, it brings it up to the sort of size of one of my normal tangents. And of course, when it's going in for the, the tones, uh, you're only going to put your heating, uh, your sleeving over the top sort of area, which means there's more room to get in amongst the keys at the top. Um, so what does it look like? Bit difficult to see because they're black but there you go and uh, because they are printed um, this is oh incidentally this this is <laughs> a massive version of them just to let you know what the uh, what the section is very sweet um, so because they're printed they are absolutely identical and just occasionally uh, obviously the the holes are exactly the same distance apart if you use the kind of jig that I've explained on the Wren book. Um, so really the only variation can be the uh, the size of the tangent or the, the length of the tangent if you like. Now making a wood one it's fine most of mine are fine just occasionally you'll find that they're, they're not cut perfectly square at the bottom uh, vagaries of the crosscut saw etc and that just sends them off a little bit um, so they don't necessarily all touch it perfectly at the same time and there's a little bit of messing about involved to ensure that they do obviously that's essential but uh, with with these being absolutely identical that's the last variable ironed out really so they're all they all touch at exactly the same time all the way up and uh, I can't fault them at all um, you don't seem to get any of the vagaries that you do with wood maybe it's it's a vibration characteristic of the wood or whatever um, but all the tangents seem to be exactly um, agreeing with each other all the way up and uh, <laughs> can't really fault it can't fault the instrument either You've got a nice long scale length, plenty of room to get your fingers in and the extra semitone at the top and an extra bit of sounding length um, than you have on 
version, what they call the soprano version, which is actually a proper size, but you've got a reasonable sounding length there, so you talk. There's no trace of squeakiness about it at all. Um, this one's got, yeah, sympathetics, nicely put on the side there, out of the way, and uh, geared tunes, of course. So that's it. That's that's uh, that's where I've got to. Um, the next generation is actually going to use carbon fibre tangents with 15% of carbon fibre incorporated into the PET G, and uh, that will make them even stronger and and more wear resistant. So that's that's the future. I like printed tangents. Cheers out.